The lower handle fits on these two mushroom head bolts here. So the first thing we need to do is to unscrew these two bolts. Next, we take the mushroom headed bolt and washer through the bottom of the lower handle and that goes into the bolt hole here. Just finger tight for now. The Allen key for tightening these two bolts up is located just here. So we just lift it out of the back of the machine and there we have the correct Allen key to tighten the bolts right up. It's important that we do these up firmly to keep the handles properly in place. This nut fits in here. An easy tip for putting it in there is to just thread it on a tiny bit onto the bolt and then you can push it in. Now we're going to fit the upper handle onto the lower handle. First of all, we need to make certain that the cables are all free and not tangled in with the handles. We've got a square in here that takes the square off the bolt. So the bolt goes through from the outside like that and threads through the handle like that. And then we take the washer and the wing nut and we thread that on there like that. And we do the same on the other side here. The washer and the wing nut tighten that right up. And the last part on the handle assembly is the cable tidy. Just make sure the cables are running nicely down the handle and then down near the bottom here we simply press that over the handle and that keeps the cables all nice and tidy. All that remains for us to do on the handles now is to put the recoil rope into the rope keeper on the side of the upper handle. To do that we need to release the engine brake by pulling the OPC lever up and pull the recoil rope up so that we can now put it inside the keeper and then we just tighten the 10 mil nut up on the other side. The Mountfield HP and SP164 mowers are what we call three in one machines. So with the grass collector down like this, it blows the grass back down through the discharge chute, not collecting. If we lift the deflector up, we can put in the mulching plug, which simply clicks into the back of the machine like that. Now the machine is set to mulch the grass, which chops it and rechops it and rechops it and blows it back down into the grass so it's almost invisible. To fit the mulching plug, it simply slides into the back of the machine, locates on those two lugs there and clicks into place. To remove the mulching plug, we simply press the back of the plug in here and lift it out like that. And to fit the grass collector, we lift up the grass deflector and we locate the lugs of the collector onto these two lugs here. Simply hooks on like that. The engine needs engine oil in the sump which goes in here. We have a dipstick attached and unleaded petrol in here. We recommend Mountfield Universal Lawnmower Engine Oil, part number MX855. This is a straight SAE 30 grade mineral oil and that goes in here up to the marks on the dipstick. The engine requires 0.55 of a litre, so that's just over half a litre of oil goes in there. The Briggs & Stratton four-stroke engine requires standard unleaded fuel to go into the fuel tank just here. We recommend using fuel stabiliser 
in the petrol. This is a one shot bottle, 100 ml bottle, and you put this into a five litre can of petrol. Simply put the, all of the contents, shake it so that the um, fuel stabiliser is correctly mixed. What this fuel stabiliser does is ensure that the petrol stays fresh all the way through the season and we simply put the petrol in the tank just like this and ensure that we don't overfill. This is a fixed speed engine so it doesn't require a throttle and it doesn't have a manual choke. So the starting process is to push the primer now it says on here you press it three times and under normal circumstances that would be enough. A little tip on a brand new machine, it might take 15 or 20 primes before it's pulling fuel through. That's because on a brand new engine there'll be air throughout the carburetor and we're pumping the air out and pulling the fuel up to the carburetor. If when we've gone to the start process the engine hasn't started, simply come back and prime a few more times. Now we've primed the engine, the starting procedure, we need to hold the OPC, Operator Presence Control Lever, up to the handle. That releases the engine brake. Next, grip firmly the recoil rope handle, like that and pull slowly until we've engaged the engine. Once we've engaged the engine, it's a firm, long pull, and the machine should start. So on an HP 185, when the engine's running, to move forward, we simply push the mower. On the SP model, to move forward, we simply lift the other bail arm up to the handles and the mower will drive itself forward. Service Link is Mountfield's own service centre and there is a helpline number here. If you have any difficulties with your machine, give the call centre a call. They will either resolve it over the phone or refer you to one of our over 600 Service Link dealers throughout the UK and Ireland.